have here? We have the deep perineal pouch and superficial. So this guy here, okay, let's look at it here. This guy here is a deep perineal pouch, which contains the, what deep does it, deep transverse perineal muscle, which is this, okay. And deep transverse perineal muscle, right, inside the muscle we have certain sphincters, okay. Right, we have the uh, urethral sphincter, external urethral sphincter, one second. We have the uh, urethral vaginal, right, that's that's the only sphincter that we have in, in males. In females, we have the uterovaginal vaginal and compressor, right, compressor sphincter. So those are the three sphincters. Basically, sphincters are part of what? Deep, peri uh, deep uh, transverse perineal muscle. It's part of this muscle here, okay. And, and uh, below that, so basically this is above, so below that, towards the skin, then we have this area is the superficial perineal pouch. Now between the superficial perineal pouch and deep perineal pouch, we have a fascia or membrane, what we call this perineal membrane. And that, this is the perineal membrane. Can you see the color difference here? From here to here, you see? This is the muscle above that, well, so below that, you have this fascia. This fascia is called the perineal membrane. So we have fascia, what fascia do we have that covers above? We have the superficial fascia or superior fascia and then we have the deep fascia that covers this muscle. S superior fascia and the inferior fascia. The inferior fascia of the superficial perineal pouch is also referred to as the perineal membrane. Okay, so you got that right? Yes? Okay. Let me draw this over here for a minute.